Hey, I'm Hope Lincolnship with To The Rescue Bookkeeping, and today I just wanted to cover a little compliance topic. Um, if you are a small business and you are running credit card payments for um, services, uh, this may pertain to you. So just a little educational tip um, and things to know for the consumer. Um, so there's something new that you're probably getting emails about if you are a small business owner and you run credit card payments called PCI compliance. Um, it's not really super new, but um, there are some things that have come out um, since June of this year in regards to FTC safeguards um, about keeping consumer data safe. I'm sure you've heard about it on the news. I'm sure you've, they've talked about it, but like, what does that actually mean? Um, so there was a law, uh, a safeguards rule that was passed in June um, that requires financial service companies to keep your data safe. So mortgage companies, um, auto companies, um, banks, uh, bigger chain stores, um, things like that. It also now includes financial firms like uh, your investment firms, bookkeeping, accounting firms, right? There's these rules that we now have to comply with to keep your financial data safe. Um, so just so you know, at To The Rescue, we're keeping up with that. Um, and we have lots of safeguards in place, um, lots of our plans in place to keep uh, your data safe and secure. So um, be asking that about your accounting firms, about um, your banks and um, your bookkeeping firms. It's important to keep your data safe, especially in today's um world with data breaches and all of those things. So even smaller companies um, need to be aware um, and us even as the consumer need to be aware of, um, you know, what are they doing with the data and how are they storing that? Uh, so it's good to kind of have basic knowledge about that. Um, secondary to the FTC safeguard though is this thing called PCI compliance. Um, and so if you're a small business owner that takes credit card payments or stores credit card payment or electronic payment data, um, then you need to be compliant in some form or fashion. It depends on the size um, of the business and the amount of transactions that you're doing. But at any level, if you are storing customer payment data, um, there is a compliance aspect that you need to follow. Um, and you are responsible if data is breached and you were not storing that data um, under these PCI compliance rules. So um, a lot of the merchant processors, so if you have a credit card machine at your store or your restaurant, um, you're probably hearing about this. And if a customer swipes a card at the restaurant, the merchant processor is dealing with that PCI compliance. Um, but if you're a service provider and you're sending proposals via email or um, some kind of software and you're requiring them to enter payment data or people are emailing you um, their credit card information for payment, yes, it still happens all the time, um, or they're filling out a form for payment information and requesting you to email it back, um, and you're storing that somewhere, whether that be Dropbox, whether that be a server, whether whatever, um, internally as a small business owner, if you are storing that data, there are certain requirements that you need to be following um, for security purposes um, under that PCI compliance uh, avenue. So um, things to think about if you are storing that data, um, there's like a 12 point kind of test or system you can have. You really need to make sure that um, maybe you have an IT person um, that can set up a secure server for you to store that data, or you can utilize um, a file storage system online, but you also need to make sure that their system 
um, covers those PCI compliance security standards. So there's kind of some rules and some templates, some checklists. There's some uh, kind of checklists that you can take as a small business owner to see, hey, what level of compliance do I need to meet to be storing this data? Um, we're just not in a world anymore where it's safe to email your payment data or, um, you know, to just fill out your credit card information online. We really should, as consumers, be learning more about the safety of that. Um, we all know that it's mm, faster and it's easier, um, but is it secure and is it being kept safe? So as a small business owner, um, myself, multiple small businesses, um, I try to stay up on this, even just having some basic knowledge about it. And so I wanted to just bring it to your guys' attention. We want to let you know that at To The Rescue, um, we are constantly keeping up with all of this information and we have a secure data plan in place um, for our customer information. Um, of course, no data is 100% safe on the internet, but there are lots of things that you can do, some that are very cost effective for smaller businesses, um, where you're keeping things at least um, somewhat secure versus just emailing back and forth. So would love to talk to you more if you have additional questions about PCI compliance. Um, if you're like, man, I'm a small business owner and I do take payments, but I don't even know if I you know, need to follow this or not. Um, I urge you that there is some level of compliance that you need to meet, um, whether it's small or large, depends on the size, again, of your business or the transactions that you're processing throughout the year and how you're collecting that data. Uh, but it is important to um, know what you're supposed to be doing so that you can keep people's data safe. Um, secondly, if you work with Intuit or QuickBooks, you um, may have gotten an email about PCI compliance um, from QuickBooks this past week. Um, that is uh, a third-party software that is kind of an insurance policy um, to be PCI compliant. But depending on how you accept credit card payments, um, through invoices in, in Intuit or QuickBooks, um, you may already have that coverage with Intuit's merchant service. There is some basic coverage that comes with that. And so if you want to know if you have that coverage um, or if you need uh, an additional plan um, with that, please give us a call or email us. Uh, we'd be happy to talk to you about that. Um, our number is 228-818-0558. Um, you can also find us at to the rescue bookkeeping.com and we would love to help you. Have a great day.